Karibu tena, um, it's good to have you. Of course, great music by uh, our choir today, singing beautiful choir music, uh, SEK Good Shepherd uh, Choir from Langata. 
with us the entire program. Karibu sana. I told you earlier that we'll be talking about the climate question, or rather the environment question. And I have an expert who's not just uh, an expert in matters climate and uh, environment, but he's also a believer. And uh, there's an agenda, an agenda to this as well. So everything that is a challenge, you can also always find a solution in other matters, all right, in other ways. So karibu sana today I'm with them. Uh, Matthew Chanda. So earlier on, we uh, sorry, we have uh, Reverend. <laughs> oh my God, Yani <laughs> Jackton Omondi. So I have a friend, and these friends work together, Jackton Otieno, and I have another friend called Oliver Ochanda. So I'm tempted to call you Oliver Ochanda, yet you're Matthew Ochanda. Yes, so uh, I'm with uh, Matthew Ochanda, who's the director of Team Environment Kenya, joining us to share how they do missions through the environment. Karibu sana, my brother, you're well? Th uh, yes, I am well. Um, and grateful to God for this day and the opportunity. Um, the confusion you want to allude to is not confusion, but yeah. uh, <laughs> Uh, it's a good one. Uh, right. Ochanda happened to be uh, a name from the royal family. Yeah. Um, but you don't say. <laughs> I'm <laughs> glad so. and privileged to be the team leader and the director of Team Environment Kenya. All right. We are the National Environment and Conservation Movement, mm -hmm. trend setters in conservation, wow. on our mission to keep Kenya clean, mm. green, and breathing through our various environmental initiatives and activities right yes sir. amazing that's a great uh, initiative mm. i mean climate change is um is a huge concept mm. especially now we've had a lot about the environment change the other day in egypt you know the conference and so it's it's something that is gaining ground but please break it down for us what is this whole climate change conversation about um uh, Indeed, it has never been real to us as now mm -hmm. in this dispensation. Right. Climate change, incidentally and unfortunately, um, has been a subject of discussion that has been addressed extensively and expansively in conferences yeah. and in panels of discussions in, in, in high places. Mm. But um, its effects is adversely fact, uh, felt at community level. Mm -hmm. And so uh, and the jargon around it, climate change simplified is the w diverse, unpredictable weather patterns, mm. which um, to a great extent are, um, I would say, a natural occurrence. Yeah. But the largest contributing factor are human activities uh -huh. and events. Right. And therefore, we have put ourselves in this mess. Mm. And so it's high time we s stoop, st uh, st uh, took a step back, right. uh, take the stock, right. and do what needs to be done right. so that we can restore and bring back the environment that mm. we, have wa we were entrusted into our care right. by God into its original state and position. I love that. Technically, I mean, a lot of conversations about the developing nations, what their role has been mm -hmm. China, you know, the US, and how that adversely affects Africa, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Asia, and mm -hmm. so on, technically. But then, uh, my brother, when God created everything, he said it was good. Mm -hmm. And then he put man as a custodian mm -hmm. and a steward mm -hmm. to all this, to mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm. the environment generally. Mm -hmm. But I, what you're saying is that we have not done our part, right? It happened to be an unfortunate mm. and a sad state of affairs. Um, that um, the beautiful place that God put us originally, uh, we have, through our various activities, ma ma man developed into development and all that that you're talking about has put us in this mess. And therefore, it is a challenge and the bite that we are experiencing through hunger, starvation, uh, scarcity of rain, and lack of water in many parts of the country has 
had adverse and devastating effects, not just to lives, right. but livelihoods. Yeah. Um, and that is why Team Environment Kenya coming to this space, um, having been conceptualized, we were initiated into this space at least three, four years ago, mm -hmm. have come in with deliberate and intentional efforts. Yeah. Not just to speak about the great jargon of climate change, but to providing solutions, practical solutions. solutions. Climate change, yeah. as it were, is to be addressed in three fronts. Mm -hmm. It needs to be combated. All right. Uh, the word combat, I don't know why it was put there, <laughs> but ideally it signifies uniformed police service yeah. in to, to, to an enemy's camp yeah. to take that which be, uh, belongs to rightfully them. Right. The second way is to mitigate the devastating effects. Mm -hmm. Mitigation is trying to manage we cannot comprehensively I, right. address it to the core. And so we try to mitigate the deficit so that if they, we are to lose, not to the ex extreme end of losing. Uh -huh. And the third way is to build resilience. Mm. Now that we are here, yeah. what measures and mechanisms do we need to put in place right. to ensure that um, we are able to adapt mm. to the diverse weather patterns, right. some of which are beyond our control and not out of our making because like it's been said our contribution to the effects of climate change it's in very very small proportion it's yeah. developing worlds and countries that are emitting um, this uh, greenhouse emissions right. also rupturing their ozone layer mm. and really putting us in this mess but you cannot live into lamentation mm. you know what I, um, I like that do what you can where you are with what you have okay let's go there practically do what you can with what you have, where you are. You're right. I mean, you've been doing for the last few years, you've been doing quite a... And please paint for us a picture of... Uh, you've, you've gone to different places trying to put in, you know, in place practical things to help mitigate this. What has, tell us some of the stories or other things you've seen happen out there. I should say that by God's help and grace, uh, being deliberate, intentional, and seeing, seeing the, the, the pain, the anguish of many people in the path, diverse and far parts of this country, we have took, we took a step. I happen to have been, uh, to be trained. Um, mm. um, a practicing Christian, right. um, a, a theologian um, uh, by God's help. And therefore, uh, having finished my studies, I felt like there's this space that has not been ex uh, exploited mm. ex ex uh, successfully. And therefore, we started. Team Environment Kenya is founded on a scripture, Genesis chapter 2, verse 15, Lovely. on a mission to take care or tend the garden. Mm. And therefore, we do missions and outreaches through conservation. Lovely. And so we've traveled to as far as Garissa County. Mm. Uh, we were in Garissa two weeks ago. Um, and in many of those counties we've gone to, it has been on a mission to doing environmental education, uh -huh. because that's where it all starts. Right. Awareness creation and capacity building to address effects of climate change, not just in, in, the, in, the, in the wording of it, but to challenge them in our education through schools and institutions. We do environmental education, uh, capacity building on proper solid waste management, mm. afforestation, and resource efficiency, right. and climate change challenges in its simple, simplest of forms is being able to make good use of the resources that they have, mm. for instance, in homes and homesteads in the far-flung counties where they still use uh, wood fuel. We have gone there and told them, you know what? Even as you're making use of this natural resource for cooking purposes, mm. there is a cleaner and a greener one. Right. It may be far from you, but we can make available. And even if the source that you have at community level, you can make available. So we have the briquette technology, uh -huh. which can be made from sawdust, can be made from um, bamboo, Mm. It can be made from water hyacinth, which right. is a menace in, in, in the lake, in the, lake, uh, lake Victoria, yeah. and in many other parts. So there are many other alternative sources of fuel. It is only the lack of knowledge of the valuable resources that they have around them mm. that, they, that can be translated to replace the wood fuel that has got health, had, uh, uh, adverse head, uh, health effects to them, mm -hmm. and also really um, as they unsustainably exploit the use of it, right. they really affect the very environment that they need mm. for their safe uh, yeah. keeping. Right. Yes, sir. So, so, so I, I want to understand, how, how is that a mission for you? I mean, I love your, the, the verse you've said, Genesis, 
how do you now package it, package it and say this is from God and I want to use it to be a blessing to other people? Break it down for us. In reference to the scripture again, uh, they say my people perish, perish for lack of knowledge. Yeah. That's why our first point of entry is to give them information, understanding, right. knowledge, mm. and therefore understanding. Right. They say knowledge received is information, mm -hmm. but knowledge shared is transformation. Right. And therefore we go into that their space to seek ways on how we can transform their thinking and their habits. Mm. So they cannot live to exclusively imagine that the only available cooking fuel because they've been born, brought up, and they're full grown people to think that it's only wood fuel mm. that they can use for cooking. Yeah. And therefore it is a mission uh, to us uh, and many other agencies and organizations, national and the government itself has come on board right. uh, when um, in this season of extreme drought and hunger to really reach out to county, to the various counties to provide them food aid, mm. food supplies, both right. for human consumption, wildlife, and in other places, domestic uh, uh, feed. And therefore, it is something that we've been doing. And so it is a mission in the sense that in every county we've gone to, we've, we've gone to three places right. in ensuring that our reach out is unlike all other agencies and organizations doing conservation. So we go to schools, mm. and in schools we do mentorship, Besides individual education and awareness creation, uh, we do capacity building. Right. Uh, we get opportunities to be in hospitals. In hospitals, we reach out to the ailing. We have targeted the children in the pediatric world. So through the health system administration, we reach out to them and request for an audience right. uh, to the children. And lastly, to the prisons. Uh -huh. In many parts of this country, uh, through the relevant agency and organization, we have gotten permission. Mm -hmm. uh, in any country we go to, we request for human capital. Uh -huh. We have our brothers uh, in, who have been incarcerated in various prisons in this country. Right. And so through the commissioners in various, various counties, we request to onboard have them, them right. to help us in manual labor. Mm. Because when you go to Garissa like we were two years ago and had 10,000 seedlings, mm. you could, we could head count them, literally we fed them from Nairobi, right. uh, growing 10,000 seedlings, not it's not a mean feat. <laughs> yeah. You need serious ground preparation of yeah. pitting, right. you need loading and offloading and really ensuring that that work is not just mm. well done, but right. professionally done. That's right. And so we have this uh, readily available uh, human labor mm -hmm. um, from our brothers right. in prisons. Yeah. And while we engage them for a week or whatever time we have, we are with them, we share them love. Mm. And after we have worked with them on this very great uh, noble cause, we have always Packaged with us, that's right. Uh, components of their personal effect: oh, bar soap, nice. toiletries. Wow. Uh, we have uh, lotion and all that, right. and, the, and and pieces of bread and a pack of milk as a way of showing love. love. So as Amazing. the government and other people are coming to really do that, and it's very recommendable. Mm. We like we our, our our trademark is we are the trendsetters. Mm -hmm. We have chartered those waters and have shown the way in our little and small ways. Way. I love it. I mean, the rains are coming. Yes. Here we are. What is my role at a point like this? Understanding that uh, I have a small part to play, but very important. <coughs> we should be grateful. Yeah. And like you rightfully said, I want to make reference to you as pastor. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We prayed, right. and when we pray, God answers. So having right. prayed, we sit back in hope and faith that it's gonna rain. It's, gonna be, it's coming in the next uh, few days. Mm. What we need to do is to prepare. They say preparation precedes success. That's right. And so that when that rain comes, how prepared are we? Are we? Yeah. And so as a team environment, Kenya, we are preparing for a conservation mission uh -huh. in the great county of Nakuru. All right. It's gonna be running from the first to the 21st. Wow. 21st is the International Day of Forests, mm -hmm. where we seek to have the commemoration of this day. And therefore, we um, are currently making, avail ma making ready our seedlings mm -hmm. in our various seed, seed, seed uh, tree nursery and seedling propagation centers right. across the country. And we have our very own in Kitengela at the KGS University, right. and there are almost 100,000 seedlings or, or more of various species. And that we were preparing to ensure that we 
make good use of the blessing of rain mm. to ensuring that we significantly increase our forest cover as our way of mitigating the devastating effects of climate change. Right. And in places that we travel to, uh, we challenge them right. to water harvesting systems. And right. the most natural uh, way of getting these um, huge amounts of water that mm. you can keep for future use yeah. is rainwater harvesting, which unfortunately has been the largest lacking component, mm. uh, even at the national level. So we can have a water tank, water reservoir, and water harvesting systems, right. uh, water pans in those places. That can be used for irrigation and to ensure that we have sustainability grow, uh, for food propagation and, and, uh, and even afforestation. I like it. This conversation can go on and on. We'll pull you in again another time. I mean, the rains are coming. Please, you have a responsibility. I know you can get this information. Store the water. It is very, very important. Mm. How do we get in touch with you? Probably someone says, how do I do this? How do I package it? Is there a contact? Share with us. Yes. Uh, all the activities mm. I've mentioned uh, uh, in view of the upcoming conservation mission, Yeah, we have online communication uh, that's out there. You can check us out on our Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Uh, right. Twitter, we are at, at TEK underscore Kenya. TEK -E -E underscore, underscore Kenya. We are right. on Facebook as Team Environment Kenya. All right. Instagram as Team Environment Kenya and YouTube as Team Environment Kenya. I want to invite you to partner and collaborate with us as another aspect of our CSR. Mm. Co community Service Responsibility. We shall be commemorating the International Women's Day. It's on the 8th right, of, of March. Uh, March. Yeah. We'll be at uh, Na the Nakuru Girls ah, High School, okay. uh, being the Nakuru County with the significant, the largest number of women representatives or women leaders. Amazing. And therefore, we are calling on us to be on this great bandwagon mm -hmm. so that we can be the agents of change, measurable impact, sustainable lives, and environmental transformation. All right. Yes. My brother, thank you very much. The pleasure is all mine. Continue with that amazing mission. Yes. And we pray that success will come, that resources will also come your way so that you can have, you can have more and better impact. Yeah, we are looking forward to receiving support from the national government, right. the county government of ah. Nakuru, all right. and all agencies, stakeholders, corporates come on board so that uh, we can do this together. Our clarion call is let's go green with you. Together we can All make right. a difference. Amazing. Um, you have a part to play. So get in touch with them on those channels he's been able to share. And do your part as they do their part so that we can have a better nation and a better tomorrow for all of us. All right. So God bless you. We continue with great amazing music uh, by the SEK. Good Shepherd Choir from Langata. God bless you. Keep so busy praising my Jesus. Keep so busy praising my Jesus. Ain't no time to die. Mm -hmm. I'm praising my Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm praising my Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm praising my Jesus. Ain't no time to die. Cause it takes all of my time to praise my Jesus. All of my time. To praise my Lord, if I don't praise him, the Lord's gonna die out. Glory and honor, glory and honor, ain't no time to die. Lord, I keep so busy working for the kingdom. Keep so busy working for the kingdom. Keep so busy working for the kingdom. Ain't no time to die out. Mm, I'm working for the kingdom. Mm, I'm working for the kingdom. I'm working for the kingdom, ain't no time to die. Cause it takes all of my time to praise my Jesus. All of my time to praise my Lord. If I don't praise him, he rolls to the cry out. Glory and honor, glory and honor, ain't no time to die. Lord, I keep so busy serving my master. Keep so busy serving my master. Keep so busy serving my master. Ain't no time to die. Mm, I'm serving my master. Mm, I'm serving my master. Mm, I'm serving my master. Ain't no time to die. All of the time, all of my time, to praise my Jesus. All of my time, to praise my Lord. If I don't praise Him, the rocks gonna cry out. Glory and honor, glory and honor. Ain't no time to die.